Hello, I'm Christian, Christian Fiedler, and the key learnings that my organization are going to take out of the project would be, and I have to maybe preface that I do work at a business school, and for me, now having worked on arts formation for three and a half years, I think it's very much so this sense of experimentation in the arts, this enjoyment of looking at things very differently, deconstructing things, reconstructing things, and that we would really like as a school, we would really like to maybe also change our teaching a little bit more to incorporate this, yeah, this very experimental mode, this very playful mode of looking at things differently. Inspiring moments that we had during the Arts Formation project. I have to preface, we um, worked as the coordinator for the project. Of course, I have wonderful colleagues who worked much, much, much more in the field. For me personally, I think um, it was very inspiring to see so many different institutions coming together, right? We have a combination of engineers and people in sociology, and then lots of amazing practitioners in the arts and the creative industries and NGOs. And for me, it was really great to see, to um, bring everyone to a common table and then to build a community around it. So to have amazing advisors, to work with the uh, policy colleagues in Brussels and yeah, to actually kickstart a conversation of what the arts could be in relationship to the digital transformation and build a community of practitioners and theoreticians around this question of um, yeah, finding different ways about thinking uh, how to make the digital transformation better for everyone. What should be the next steps for its formation? Where could the project uh, go next? So now after yeah, quite some time with the project, I think the next step should be to um, going from the broad exploration of what the arts could be and who is active in this space to maybe start tackling very concrete problems. We already did that to a degree in the project, but it could be really nice to look at, for instance, this intersection between the arts and facilitating political processes to give uh, people a better voice in online spaces or to look at artistic voices approaches to the current big challenges in the digital space. For instance, how do we want to deal with artificial intelligence that becomes ever more so quote unquote human and uh, yeah to, to essentially to try to really apply it the the artistic method to very concrete challenges that we're facing right now in the digital transformation how did we come together to do this project i think it is actually a somewhat straightforward question because we have great colleagues who are very active in the european union starts program where it's and I paraphrase a little bit mostly about um, teaching engineers and natural scientists to employ the arts. And we thought, wouldn't it be cool to take all that great work and also apply it to social science and political processes, right? So it's essentially a process where more or less in analogy, we thought, why not apply the great work that has been done in the natural science and create a space in this project to, yeah, to apply it to social processes, social movements, and uh, employ yeah, the arts essentially in the service of, of social progress.